I'm Florence Nylat and I'm a senior researcher at University of Oulu. I'm originally from France, south of France, and I have done most of my study until the master where I graduated in genetic. And then I decided to come as an exchange student through Erasmus program, a European program to Oulu in Finland. And my experience was so great that I decided to continue and do my PhD here in developmental biology. After I graduated, I went for a postdoc in UK. I spent three years there and I was working with mouse work, most on the genetic of the mouse. And then I came back to the Faculty of Biochemistry and Medical Medicine, which is now at the University of Oulu, where I pursue my career here. I've always been fascinated by the cells in our body, how the cells in our body work. In France, we have the quite famous animated cartoon called Il était une fois la vie, or in English, it's Once Upon a Time Life, which depict how a cell or an organ, for example, the heart will work and explain for a kid. So for me, choosing biology, which is science in that sense, was right from the beginning when I was 10 years old. I was always interested in animals, plants, nature. And I chose this because I was always wondering how one cell can give rise to billions of cells, which is our body. So how this is possible. And this is why I chose science. I'm a developmental biologist, so like I mentioned before, I've been always fascinated how one cell can give rise to so many cells, and these cells is the germ cells. And that's what I've been looking at at the beginning and during my PhD, how a germ cell, which is in a female, an oocyte, would give rise to an oocyte, which later will become X. In male, it's called the sperm. My part, I've always been looking at woman's part, and now I'm looking at the woman infertility. So how can we help couples to conceive? This is a really crucial question because at the moment, infertility is rising and it's affecting either males or females. I would like to identify factors, which would be either genes or mechanisms, which would be affecting the metabolism, for example, in those women who are completely infertile and maybe those identified factor could be later applied in uh, fertility treatment so linking basic research with applied research so that's one of my goal from the research side can we really help doctors to improve fertility and preserve the fertility. The motivation is the search of looking for something, answering a question. It's always a challenge. It's always something that you do not know what's coming after. So you ask a question, why this woman cannot bear child? Then you are like, what is the problem? What's the factor? So in fact, you have question after question. I think what motivates me every morning it is that I will find something, even it might be really small, but at the end of the year, or maybe in two years, when the project is ending, you can see that your result is important. You're building a house, it's one brick of the house. But one brick after one brick, maybe all the scientists in the world, with all the results we find, will build this house, and this will be important and that's the motivation I have. My passion is driving me to go every day to work to carry my research. I hope in 10 years I will be still in the research carrying the research that I'm passionate about. I would like to have still a small group with me supporting them through fundings but still doing uh, research for helping those people who cannot have kids then collaborate with doctors. The hospital, the medical side is really important in such field that we need to collaborate with each other. But not only at the ULU level, we need to think about the national level, but also internationally, because such problem is observed around the world. And 
wherever we can help each other by collaborating, that will be the big step for providing better treatment for, for fertility. I will speak for myself in that sense that biology in the Western country is quite chosen by girls. I don't know in your country, but we still need more women in this field. Biology combined chemistry, math, physics. So when I go to the lab, I need to calculate to know the amount for reagent that I will use. I will study the metabolism, which is in fact based on cellular interaction, electrochemistry. And one of the devices that I'm using every day to observe the germ cell is a microscope. I'm staining the germ cells. So to see a germ cell, using microscopy is important and it's based on physics. So we need to understand the physics law. So I think if you are passionate about science in general, biology is one of the fields where it combines all of them. I would say also that if a man tells you, you should not or you cannot do this, never listen and pursue your passion. That's the most important in life. Thank you.